Okay, as you might or might not notice, I have a lot of fragrance right here. And I want to tell you guys about it. Let's get started. Yeah, let's get started with the first one. This is Aqua Dijo Profumo. I'm, I'm just gonna butchering all the name of all the fragrance here because I don't know how to say things properly. This one is a super popular one. Okay, what, what does it smell like? Let's see. It's very good. Probably one of my favorite one. And it smells like bergamot and the ocean, the sea. That's exactly what this smell like. It opened up with a fresh note of ocean, smell like, smell like the sea, and then you eventually get the bergamot smell in here. I really like this one because it's very fresh and deep at the same time. Fresh is thanks to like the ocean-like smell, but then it's got the bergamot and it just smells incredible and this is definitely one of those fresher fragrance but I don't know somehow it will last you hours in winter and that is incredible and this this usually seen as a more sophisticated suit and tie fragrance but in my opinion this is a super versatile fragrance from gym to black tie events basically on occasion and I wear it from summer to winter okay next one Paco Rabana Invictus This one is Oh, I haven't smelled this for a long time Still smell really good This is exactly how I got on the girls in high school It just smells super Super fuckboy-ish It smells like citrus fruit And woody and, and very sweet at the same time So yeah, amazing fragrance Honestly, I don't even wear this that often anymore I only wear it occasionally whenever I get tired of one of these definitely recommend though especially if uh, you're a younger guy maybe you're in your 18 in your 20 super good one next up John Vavato's Dark Rebel this is literally my favorite fragrance right now this is my signature scent at the moment it smells incredible even though not everyone thinks so the best way I can describe it is it smell like alcohol and tobacco. The top note of this is leather and rum and then the base note is tobacco. Tobacco and, and sugar can I think. So it smells a tiny bit sweet but at the same time it's not sweet at all. It's very dark smelling hence the name Dark Rebel. Every time I wear this I feel like a freaking Hollywood sexy superstar in a leather jacket and the reason why this is my signature scent is i think it's matched with my personality as well because not everybody like this fragrance you can either like it or you hate it once like i get a girl to smell this and she describe it as nasty you won't get that many compliments some people tend to buy fragrance because they get them compliment and get them to be more likable but I like to get fragrance that match with my personality and I think that's a very good way to get fragrance as well so yeah that's John Vavato's Dark Rebel this is Dior Sauvage do I need to say more about this this is the new 1 million for men just smells it smells very good and it get you massive compliment I wear this all the time like honestly all the time it's one of those scents that I even wear at home or I even wear to sleep I think I get the idea of wearing fragrance to sleep from Tom Ford because he do that I know it's myself weird but I just love love the smell of all of these but especially this before you buy this just make sure that you think about it carefully because pretty much every guy have one of these so it's very saturated in the market but other than that if you don't care about that then yeah go ahead super good the other next we will talk about the newest edition in my collection i won't spray any of these because it's so expensive i don't want to waste any of the juice but this is another gift i got 
from my 18th birthday. I've always wanted this one since the first time I smelled it in John Lewis, which is a department store. It smells very unique. The best way I can describe it is it smells like chocolate, like dark chocolate and orchid. I take that back. This smells very complex. It smells like vetiver, chocolate, black orchid, like orchid. I think this definitely is one of my most complex smelling fragrance in all of these. Honestly, I love Tom Ford fragrance. I just can't really afford any of them. They all have very signature and standout scents and it smells super amazing and very unique. This one is definitely a winter fragrance because if you wear this in summer or like a fresh hot day, it'd be too much. But this one will last you for hours and hours in winter. That's Tom Ford Black Orchid. Next up, this is something I'm actually wearing right now because I just feel like it. And this is Valentino Umo Intense. Same as the Tom Ford and Dark Rebel, this is another very unique smelling fragrance. I love owning unique fragrance because I have this deep dark phobia that one day I'll walk out of the street and someone will smell the exact same as me. So that's why I have all these edgy and quite unique smelling fragrance. This one smells like leather and orange, which is very strange in the fragrance world, which is something that makes it so unique. It's super sophisticated, but it's also edgy at the same time. And I like to wear this whenever I dress up a bit more, even though well, I'm not very dressed up right now but I just feel like wearing this. This smell like Harry Style on the red carpet. Definitely recommend this. Okay last but not least this is John Paul Gaultier Ultramel. This is a super old one but I absolutely love it. I actually went through two bottles of this already and whenever I ran out of this I just go to the store and get a new one. That's how much I love this. This smell super sweet. It smell like Pear and vanilla, which is amazing. I think this is the best clubbing fragrance in my opinion, and it still is the best clubbing fragrance. And this one, this one projecting like crazy. There was this time where I spray it on my jacket for a night out in the club, oh, pre COVID, obviously. And I think sometime like a week later, I can still smell it, which is incredible. So yeah, if you want a fragrance that will last you literally weeks and a good clubbing fragrance, it's, yeah, this is the one you need to get. Hope you enjoyed this little fragrance collection video and i probably do a, an updated one in the future. If you enjoyed the video, please press the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. Until next time. Thank you.